Last week, I made my first ever trip to Paris. It's a city that I've always been meaning to visit, but somehow never got around to. Mainly due to it being so close to London, I thought, what's the point? How different could it be? However, after spending seven days in Paris, my view of the city has changed completely. So I'm back in London now. I was actually planning to do an episode from Paris, but the hotel room I was staying in was so tiny, I was unable to film in there. But as I said, this was my first time in Paris, and as I wasn't that excited about going initially, I didn't really do much research into places to visit or places to shoot. So I was staying in the Latin Quarter, which is south of the Seine River near the Pantheon. But um, the area I was staying in ended up becoming my favorite place to shoot, which was very fortunate as I didn't do any research on where to stay in Paris before I got there. But it's a lot quieter than central Paris. There's a lot more locals, less tourists, a lot more independently owned cafes and shops and restaurants. There's also narrow streets, all the houses are old and historic. So for my style of photography, it was absolutely perfect. And secondly, it was still close enough to all of the main tourist attractions and central Paris. The Louvre was around a 20 minute walk, Pompidou Center about a 30 minute walk, and the Eiffel Tower was around an hour's walk from my hotel. So seven days really isn't enough time to see the whole city. When you visit a city like Paris, where there's so much to do in a short amount of time, you can often end up being overwhelmed by trying to squeeze in as much as possible into the time you've got there, which isn't always the best for photography. So I quickly made peace with the fact that I'm not gonna see the whole city on this trip. And instead, I focused on shooting the areas around where my hotel was and areas close to it. Honestly, I feel like I've just touched the surface with Paris and I will be making many trips back to the city for years to come. When it comes to photography, Paris is an incredible city to shoot in and probably is among my favorite places to shoot now. They managed to preserve the character of the city from the stations to the architecture. It really has a unique Parisian feel to it, which makes a really interesting backdrop for street photography. As a city, it reminded me of a mix between both Istanbul and London. The central areas were really busy and a bit hectic. The crossings, I mean, I still haven't got my head around them or how they work. But that said, people generally operate at a slower pace here. And if you venture out of the central areas, it can often feel like you're in a small town and not in one of the world's most visited cities. So despite never having visited Paris, it did feel strangely familiar. Now I think this is because of all the films I've watched, which are set in Paris. So when I'm walking around, I have this strange sense of knowing the streets, knowing how they look, knowing the major landmarks, but also seeing them for the first time. I think New York was another city where I had this kind of feeling, where when I was walking around, I felt like I'd seen it all before, but not through my own eyes and not by actually being there. One more major positive when visiting Paris was the food. Pastries really are incredible and are about half the price of what you pay in London. Yeah, I kind of spent most of my mornings just devouring numerous pastries before I'd head out to do street photography all day.
while out in Paris, I met up with both Faisal and Roman. They were there for the month, so we kind of shot a couple of days. If you don't already, and I'm sure you probably do, please do follow their channels as well. While I was in Paris, I did also run into one of the protests which are going on across the country. So one evening, I was out shooting with Faisal. We were walking across town, and uh, we just come across this protest. And at the start of it, people were just uh, hitting pots and pans and stuff and that kind of developed into flares and finally people were lighting bins and stuff like that so it was interesting to see for those of you who don't know the people are uh, protesting against the pension age going up in france but yeah it was the first time i'd been in a protest with my camera it wasn't really something i was going out of my way to um photograph and before i went to paris I kind of consciously made the decision that I wouldn't shoot the protests but um, it was just one of those situations where I was walking across town, I came across it and while I was there I kind of just took photos of what was in front of me. As for the gear I used when I went out there, I only travelled with my XT5 and Ricoh GR3X. I didn't actually use my Rico at all. All the shots and the video were recorded on the X-T5 with either the 35 1.4 or 56 1.2. For me, Paris is a city best shot on longer focal lengths. I was focusing more on details and people rather than architecture and larger scenes like I would in a city like New York or Tokyo. But in Paris, as I said, the 56 1.2 especially worked really well and I really enjoyed using that lens there. Now for those of you who follow me on Instagram and social media, you know that recently especially, I've loved shooting at night time and a lot of the photos I've been sharing have been from nights in London. So in Paris, it was a big change for me going from shooting at night times to shooting mostly during the day. I really enjoyed that, mostly because I hadn't really shot daytimes in a really long time. So it was a good switch up for me. And also when you're walking around Paris, there are so many details to capture, ways to incorporate street signs or signs or windows with characters in the background. It really was a fun city to do street photography in and I really can't wait to get back there. Um, in terms of nighttime photography, there are like neons about, there are areas where it's crowded at nighttime. There isn't really an area like Chinatown and Soho in London where there's lots of street lights, lots of nighttime activities all in one area. There is the Moulin Rouge area, but it's a bit seedy, it's a bit gritty. I went there one night, I didn't really stay too long. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I was mostly shooting at daytime. I did get some shots I really like at nighttime too. But um, as I said, for me, Paris is a city best shot during the day. If you guys have any recommendations of places to shoot at nighttime in Paris, please do drop them down below because I will check them out on my next visit. One last thing, all the photos in this episode were edited using my preset pack. If you want to pick one of those up or support the channel, I have the link to that down below in the description. So yeah, on the whole, I enjoyed my stay in Paris. I will be going back in the near future and over the coming months and weeks, I will be releasing more videos and photography from that trip. So if you don't already, please do follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, again, just subscribe to this channel as well. A big thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.